Hello, good evening. I am painting tonight. I have not started yet. I just went through and figured out what I was going to paint. And this is what I'm going to paint. Both around. Here we go. That's kind of working. I am going to be painting a scene from the Southwest. And you can all guess what exactly that is. And I am wearing panties, as I said. Some might call these briefs, not panties, but they have little ears, and I think they're pretty cute and pretty fun. So anyway, my main point is to paint right now, but I'm also happy to wear these. And it's kind of funny when I go to the gym and I wear these because they have little ears and I have to like tuck them under so that they don't stick out. So anyway, that is me. And hello. I need to put this away. This is what I was painting the other day. It's not quite done yet. Here, let's get some better light. This is some weird androgynous thing. So I'm going to move this out of the way because this is not what I'm going to paint. And the other day I was working on this, or it was supposed to be upside down, but I actually think I like it better upright here. There's better light right there. So this is like a little angel -y thing. So this is going to go over here. And I actually have to make a little thumbnail sketch. I'm gonna make a thumbnail sketch every time I paint something and it looks kind of like that. So I need to put that together. Um, oh, thank you. And I need a pencil. I know I had pencils from the other day because the other day I kept talking about how I was a pencil and it was very sad. I knew I had a pencil somewhere. Let's see if I can find a pencil. Pencil. So every time I paint or draw something, I start with a little sketch. So I'm just gonna do that. I have one of these little things. You can size up, you know, whatever you're gonna size up. I don't know. So this is for setting up. The shape, it's called a view catcher. And I am actually just looking at my painting right now. I'm painting the image. Let me see if I can move this. So I am going to be doing that image. Right there. And I should have done this earlier, but I did not. Just figuring out proximate lines so I know the shape of what I'm going to be doing. And I was taught that it's a really good idea to start everything you paint with a little sketch so you kind of have an idea of what you're going to painting in terms of darks and lights and form. Let me see. So I'm kind of doing this pretty speedily because it's probably not that exciting to watch. Let's see. And you'll get to see it in a second. And, and then there's a lot of squinting. They say squint at it so that you can figure it all out. Thank you, David. You're very kind. And so this is just a little sketch. The idea right now is that I'm making an outline of what I'm doing and I have to squint at this. So just ignore me for a second that I squint and it looks really weird. But it's, I promise you the squinting is a good idea. If you want to take anything out of today, try these little sketches. Darker, and, and if you can guess what this is, uh, pretty cool, it's in the Southwest. And the location I'm doing right now, I actually got to model there, which was really awesome. I need to do it kind of on the sly because you're not wearing that much outfits and whatnot. Anyway, this, this is more or less what I'm going to be doing. It's this little thing. It looks kind of like scribbly scribble, but I promise you it's not going to be scribbly scribble when I do it 
So let's get it going. When I sit down, I have it low. When we stand, I need to get it higher so that my, my palette is just going to go right there. Well, there's some paints from earlier that I have to just scrape off. So I'm going to scrape those off. Okay, don't touch razor blades with your finger. That's a really bad idea. If you're going to paint, you might need some paper towel on hand. So I'm going to get some of that. I can set you over there. And set you right there. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just getting my palette ready. I have paint left over from earlier. I'm using turpinoid to clean off the little paint residue so that I can mix the colors that I want. And as you can see, I normally paint with natural light right here, but since I'm wearing this, my neighbors probably don't want to see that. I'm so gonna just shut that. So that was me shutting that. So there's okay, a lot of paint. So this is my palette. It's kind of glary. And these are my colors, a uh, lizard crimson and cadmium. This is a test. Cadmium red light, test for me. And shoot, and there's my yellow. I really should know what this is. Cadmium yellow, I believe. Indeed, cadmium yellow light. Um, you might even know that. And then I have these two green, sap green and meridian. Ultramarine blue. And this is a titanium white. And that's my palette. Sometimes I use other colors, but I mainly just use these and I mix and make all the other colors because you don't need to have just, you know, you don't need to have every color. So I need a little bit more ultramarine blue. Take my big paint thing. Squeeze it out. Put it back on. Okay. I am using this. Let me see if I can get my canvas out. I don't use the fancy the canvases right now. I don't think it matters. Um, the painting itself matters. And of course, every time I use the worst canvas is when the painting comes out best because, you know, life is cruel like that. So anyway, my canvas. Let me see what you are saying. It's true, I'm trying to be safe with my neighborhood because I don't think that they are super friendly towards me and I'm always wearing like this amount of food, you know, clothes, so figured, yeah. So yes, I am actually more covered than a bikini. And for anyone joining right now, I have a mouse on my butt and they are quite possibly my favorite ever because, you know, I have a mouse on my butt. Um, I'm supposed to be painting, not talking about panties. Okay. Um, let's get this Put in place. Let's figure out how I can make it so that you can see this canvas. Actually, can you see me and canvas? And voila, I think that will work. And I moved my paintbrushes and now they're like over there, which is kind of the wrong spot. It's not where I want my paintbrushes, but that's where they are. So normally actually I would take this whole canvas and cover it with, you know, a little bit of color. And I might actually still do that, just give it a wash. Normally I want to let it dry, but 
the desert, the background color that sticks out is always these warm, rocky colors. So I'm just mixing that up, just mixing up this kind of orangish color that's going to go on. Some Gamsol in here. I'm going to go see that. So I'm just going to go water down. See what? Yes, and actually a mirror in here might be a good idea. Then you can get like two views of me. Okay, maybe next one. And that's a paper towel there. I'm moving that paper towel. That does not belong there. Okay. Yeah. Sorry about that. That's kind of embarrassing. You're in paper right there. So anyway, I'm going to really quickly just kind of now this step for anyone who says they cannot paint, everyone can do this. Come on, look, I'm just taking colors and I'm going like that. And if you can't do that, I don't know. Uh, I just don't believe you. Just putting like a thin coat on. So this is just the step of, um, <laughs> oh yeah, I do kind of skip, I'm kind of like skipping skip. Okay, so I'm just toning the canvas. So this is not about like, you know, anything but just putting a little bit of color down. It's better if you do this beforehand and it can dry, but I think it will be okay. So I'm kind of painting with my paper towel, just kind of removing some of this. And I think that's okay. Okay. There's a trash can over here. Okay, so let's get a little bit of So now I am mixing a little bit of the ultramarine blue with my weird reddish bricky color. And I am just gonna like lay in some basic guidelines based upon my, well, you can't really see it right there, but I have the photograph that I'm working on like right there, so. Always take some figuring out. This is just a really rough outline. And it will kind of start to come together. So I'm not too worried about it. I and mean, I do want to know where things go. So I'm just going back and measuring once in a while to see how far over. And then anytime I don't like it, I can always just rub it all out and I'll put it back in. Great thing about rocks is I don't really care where they are. So I always think rocks are a good kind of a good building block, I see. So mm -hmm. it's way more difficult doing this talking. I 
think my reference photo is exactly the same in proportions, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Kind of gone quiet and I'm just still blocking things in, and kind of makes me have to concentrate a bit. So, let me give me a second. Made those way taller than they were supposed to be. I always look like I'm holding this dirty paper towel. I promise you, this is part of the process. Mountains over there. Step back, find your lines. It goes there. I wish it show you one of the things. Or this is getting definitely cropped from what I originally thought I was going to do. And this kind of normally I sit down, but sometimes I like to stand, and I think it's actually. It's a good variety standing it. You can see things differently. Also move back and forth a little bit better. So I'm doing partially a made up seam that's a little bit too far over there. Need a lot of rocks to deal with on this. So let me step back. This is me pointing at my reference photo over here. And I like to work from my own reference photos so that I get my individual work rather than someone going, hey, that's blah, 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 blahs online. And there's big shadow going on here. And big shadow goes. I need to mix up more of that. You can tell me if my butt jiggles when I do this. The jiggle, I don't know. You can tell me that. Let's see what it does. So what I'm using to do the mixing with things is this little palette knife. I better not get paint on my computer. I'll be very sad if so this little palette knife. Hello for anyone joining me. I am just putting in the rough sketch of this little river scene. River and desert scene, I guess, is the more proper. Doesn't look like much, but it does make a difference when you get these things going. So let's see, I've been neglecting this part, which has got to it's kind of cascading down. See, that sticks out. And then. 
And I'm not worried about color yet. This is just sketching in some very basic lines and shadows. And there's this cool bush right here. Actually, the reason I am painting this is because I was drawn to this like bushy thing right here. So for anyone who doesn't like doing things exact, my painting of <laughs> nature is probably perfect for them because um, I'm just kind of putting in lines and putting in lines and kind of start building from there. Um, let's see. So I'm going to show you for now that, so this for now, it's just kind of the rough, rough sketch of what's going on. It's not actually what's going to be, you know, I mean, it is like you can see some of the rocks and shapes and whatnot. So I'm going to start adding the darkest darks. That's how I'm going to start. And let me show you for the style that I'm doing. Let me get it back where there's some light. So, this is something I've done in this style. I think it's better there. So you can see there's the dark darks and there's the lights. Let me see. Um, it's very glary. I haven't figured that out. So it's a bunch of cascading. I think this is Sedona right here. So yeah. And to Rob, I don't know if I know what you look like, so it's hard to paint a picture of you unless I did like a like a circle with a big smile and like arms and stuff like that. But I do do commissioned paintings and you can send me an email. You can sign up to Patreon and send me an email there or I think I have my email address somewhere down there. So anyway, right now I'm doing this sort of thing. This looks like a sensor bar with a, a Rocky Mountain sensor bar. Kind of looks like E.T. on the side, huh? Oh, cool. Okay, I'm going to put this back on the wall. Okay. We'll see you later. I'm going to keep on painting. I think this has just started, so. Okay. So now I need to get the darkest darks going on. So I got my ultramarine blue. And because I am being watched by you, I'm not gonna be a sloppy painter. Don't mix those colors, wipe them off with a paper towel. Okay, and then grab the next color and you can mix them. So I just put too much of this cadmium red light. So I need to get more ultramarine real blue. Much more of it. Now some people like to mix up all of the colors they'll be using. And sometimes I do that, like not all, but a lot. And sometimes I'll just get some basics. So I am working with just a few colors for now. I'm just gonna put in the darks you it in there. Let me move this over so I can see it better. Just going to keep moving this around so it works better. It's very weird because my reference photo is back there now, but that's okay. Let's see if I can. I should put this on my phone. If I put this on my phone, then I can just look at it at the same time. I might do that next time. I'm figuring this out little by little how to make it work better. So, you know, for the painting. 
one. So you see, you can lay in colors pretty quickly, but it still seems like it takes a while to get it all going. shadow going on. It's very impressionistic. Sometimes I like to just let the paint go where it wants to go. see the just kind of making really quick decisions oh <laughs> thank you yeah I think every time someone says they love these I'm just gonna go like this so yeah My hair is pretty darn scraggly though today. I don't have any scraggly hair today. I feel like I get like less, less scraggly hair. I mean, that'd be better. Okay, it doesn't really matter what my hair looks like this at all. It's so as you can tell, I'm. You can start to see what's going on. There's a lot more going on. So right now, I just added a little bit more white and light blue to my brush, just to get a little bit of air. I didn't add light blue, I lightened my blue. This, this is in the background. So the atmospheric bit. Sometimes I like to just mix. Dipping in my turpentine so that it flows easier. So as you can tell, you can start to see some outlines going on, which is really great to have. There's actually some more blues in here. Now let's go back to some darks. Let's see.
it's a little bit redder on this side um, over here. So I'm gonna add, make these shadows a little bit more red. Um, let's see. Well, as you can tell, I make really quick decisions sometimes. Let's see. These are really steep cliffs. So I'm kind of inventing the scene. I'm looking at a reference photo and going, oh yeah, that's nice. And what if I put it right here? So I'm gonna put that one right there. And then we get really cool it's coming along it hits a point where you feel like it has like forever to go and then you know it doesn't it, it or it does depends on what you want it to do so okay i'm just stepping back to look at it need some greens going on I just mix some really dark greens to put in some of these areas where there's shadows. So from the computer, it may look like these are all blacks, and I promise you they're not all blacks. They just kind of look like that. And actually, the more you study a painting, the more I do, the more colors start to pop out, which is part of what makes it really fun. Let me show you what's going on so far. So what's going on so far is this is what I'm painting from. And it has all these great colors everywhere going on. And I'm gonna turn this back around. I'm gonna turn this back around. So far. This is just some basic layout. There's the you know the rocks and the rocks and the river, and it kind of all is going to get worked on. I can see what it needs going on. The more I look at it, so uh, let me see. Let me keep on at it. Let's see how this light. Just go stretch for a minute. Okay. I got my light all switchy, switchy. Let me see if I can. It's still working. 
Yeah, I think that's still working. Okay. And then I'm going to get some of these lights. I really like mixing colors with my paintbrush. I need to deal with some lizard crimson. Crimson, I can speak. So I'm adding just some little rumbling bits. subdivision of these things. Sometimes forget how complicated even things seem pretty easy are. There's just so many lines going on. And I'm dipping in my terpenoid natural once in a while just to keep things flowing well enough. This one might end up looking a little bit more abstract. Definitely more difficult. I need to do this during the day and I can see better. So let me see. All right, just checking in. And I'm standing back. I think it leaves that swoop out there. It's gonna go a little higher. So I'm gonna wipe out a little bit of paint once in a while. It's good to do. It's just you know, need some help. Yeah. I'm going to bring this river bend into here. It's really awesome. You kind of get to play creator when you are doing nature. I mean, is the river going to complain if you did it a little bit wrong? Probably not. See what this is doing. I'm gonna put in a little bit of this back head. So some people wait to do the lightest lights the very end, and some people like to put them in beforehand. I've kind of mixed chosen to do this mix of things so that I can see what's see what's going on, what I might need. I know actually a lazy season is on my list and then we can both but for now you know for now this is this is gonna have to work and 
bring my mirror down from upstairs. Or I can just do different videos and different perspectives and then people could watch all of them. Seriously, feel like I'm holding this like nasty, ratty tissue. But I do that, so let me put that down. This is a very abstract painting I have going on. It's As you can see, there is actually a way of holding the paintbrush. I'm going to hold the paintbrush for anyone joining in now. Um, you know, it's kind of like this, like a pencil is like this. And a paintbrush is like this. I don't know. It's just, so that's how I'm doing it, how I was taught. Then again, not everything I was taught do I do. getting some little bits of stuff going on. Let's see. Well, I've been told I make really quick decisions when I paint, and I think that's okay. Let's see. <laughs> I was going to say, is painting even practical? I mean, I mean, it's great. It's awesome, but I don't know if it's practical. So, hey, so this is not done yet, but it's starting to remind me more of, I'm going to show you. This is a pretty more abstracty thing I did once here. It can be, it's my outfit. I could hide behind it. <laughs> yeah, like now. Like now you don't even know if I'm wearing clothes or if I'm just wearing a painting. So anyway, um, this is a little bit more abstracty. My hair is better like here. You can see right there. So um, that's kind of what this is becoming. I'm gonna paint a little bit longer and then I'm actually gonna cook dinner because dinner and I totally just got paint on my thigh. So let's get the paint. Uh, 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 it's it's going to be there for like a week, I promise you. Um, okay, back to what I was doing. I should bring my palette over in a second. Okay, now let's see. 
Let's see what it's doing. Back there is going to need some help. I haven't really gotten to this part yet. This is kind of a difficult painting to start with. I need more blues going on back there. Looking like a lot of dark so far. Let me grab this, move out of the way. I don't know if that's way too small. Here, I can show you so far. So far it is, it has this really big hole. I kind of like the hole, but it's very contrasty. So let's see. It's definitely going to need the highlights to do what it needs to do. Hold up my trusty palette knife again. Sometimes it's time to be more organized for a moment. See. Figuring out some colors. So I'm mixing some of the river colors because they need more going on right now. They have nothing going on. I prefer that. I'll show you right now. So I have a bunch of colors in here mixed together and I finally started to get some like lights and whatnot going on. So it's all pretty good. So let's grab a little bit of this. It needs a little turpinoid natural. harder. Sometimes you have to switch your hand position so that it does the position, you know, plants kind of go like this. So you need to start from the bottom and go. Psh, psh, psh. So that is what I'm doing. Yeah, there's a little wispy thing back there. I forgot about Let's put the little wispy guy in there. Okay, little wispy guy. There will definitely need to be more of this orangey going on. Not necessarily as dark as I am putting it in right now. So, so to bring it all together, you, you need to put a little bit more of certain things. So like, since there's so much orange right here, I'm going to put some all over the place. You know, in an organized fashion where it actually is showing up. That's what makes a really good composition. Some cohesiveness. Now this is very different from if I was painting plain air, which would be outdoors. 
if I was painting outdoors, then I would get to look at exactly what I was doing and, you know, be inspired by that. Look here. It's, you know, probably if I was outdoors, I'd be bug bin if I was painting like this. So, you know, it's probably good that I'm right in here. And I wouldn't have internet, and then I couldn't stream. I'd have internet, but you can't live stream unless you have more subscribers. So I do need more subscribers so I can live stream on the go in places. So if you actually find this kind of cool to watch, and even if you don't, if you might want to watch some other time or say, hey, that box is weird girl like paint, you should subscribe to my YouTube channel, and that would be really awesome. And if you want to check out Sorry, I thought there was a cat behind me. Um, anyway, if you want to see what these end products look like, you can also subscribe to my Patreon, and that's where I post all the final products. Yeah, and awesome. I'm going to keep on painting. That was my little sales picture Yeah. So if this is inspiring you to paint, you should pull out some paints and paint. Because I think that everybody can paint. You just have to want to do it and try. And some days it works out great and some days it won't be quite as great. Um, it's just how, how it goes in the already day. I was talking about doing some river. I haven't done that, so I'm going to get a little bit of river in. And that is not brown enough, so I've got to get that brown enough. See, see some comment about the cat. Yeah, actually, sorry. I don't know if this is a cat or like a little panda bear or what it is, but I don't know. I like it. I think he's cute. Um, they're kind of like my favorite little underwears with ears. You know, they're also my only underwear with ears, but they're my favorite underwear with ears. We really should get more, and then I can have, you know, more of these underwear things. Let's see. Actually, starting to starting to come together. Look at that photo. I'm just sitting at the thing. Oh yeah, the upside down angel. I showed it at the beginning of the video, but so you don't have to go back and look at that. I'm gonna go get that. I was just showing some work from a previous time of doing a live painting and the light was horrible and the board was this really weird thing and it's right side up and it's not really done and I don't know. So this is the weird upside down angel. And so it needs a little bit more work, but there, upside down angel, right side up. Angel butterfly? I don't know. So, yeah, that was that. And while I was showing things, the most recent thing I was working on is 
So this is one of my more recent things I've been working on, and I need to get back to work. It needs a little bit more work to finish it. So way better than the upside down easel. And I totally just got this paint in my banister. So shh. Oil painting tip. Don't carry around a paintbrush while you go grab stuff. You might get paint everywhere. So I'm just gonna paint a little bit longer and then I'm gonna go make dinner because I'm getting kind of hungry. Painting definitely does not make you get hungry. It's one of those things I can do for hours and hours, hours and forget about being hungry. But I think it's a good idea to eat some food. This water is kind of crazy blue. It's a little bit of a different color. There's not that many clouds going on. Should we get a little bit more sky in? This is kind of just a rough block in. Wipe off some of that paint. Which one, the angel or this one? Because I don't know. Actually, I like this one so far. Just needs, needs some loving. Okay, don't do that at home. Don't throw your paper towels everywhere. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of this orangey color sticking out underneath. Let's check this out. So this is not done, but I think I am going to go for now. 
and I can work on this some other time. But I decided to do it. So this is the scene so far. Certainly not finished, but it's about, I guess I've been on here for an hour painting. And it looks like that so far. And that is not done, I understand, but it's, it's getting there. So yeah, one hour in, it probably needs another couple hours and then I'll get there. It is supposed to be, you know, it is this sort of scene going on. So you can kind of tell how that comes together. It's a good start. It's going to need some more. And I'm going to turn. Oh, yeah, the angel. And I am going to leave you for anyone watching now, which is, I guess, only Jim. But anyway, I'm going to leave you with Little Mouse Butt Journal. Me, 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 me. Me. Okay, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining in. I will show you my art later. Go on, go. End. End, end, end. <laughs>